were you doing with your youth? It's a fact that when we reach a certain age, we start looking for love. Some people are lucky to find a beautiful love, but some people keep struggling to find love or pine for someone. If you are still single, it's not a big deal, just listen to this video to understand what I'm talking about. Some people think that it's abnormal to be 18 years old and not have a first love. Some people think that it's rare to graduate from college and not have any love experience. Some people think that it's alarming to be 30 years old and female and not married. Some people think that it's a failure to be 40 years old and male and not married. The truth is that the best age to love is not 18 years old. It's not even 25 or 30 years old. In my opinion, the best age to love for men is 35 years old, when they have everything in place, from awareness to personality to career and finance. This is the experience that I learned from a teacher and the information I share is just for reference, so you can have a different perspective on life. I hope you watch this video with an open mind. Have you noticed that most of us have a common habit, like an uncontrollable reflex? That when we grow up, we automatically look for a lover, then a spouse, then a family and children? But do you think that formula is really reasonable? At the age of 18 to 25, when we just graduated from college, most men are just boys. And what we lack at this time is experience, including work experience and especially practical life experience. At the best age of our lives, what we have is youth and enthusiasm. This is the ideal stage for us to experience everything, and the more we experience, the more our life capital will develop. This life capital will be the important foundation for us to build a family and raise our children in the future. But what if we get married early? Then even ourselves have not accumulated enough life capital. How do we teach our children? What do we have to pass on to them? And at this age, when we just started our career, this should be the ideal time for us to focus on improving our knowledge and building our career. But we take on a lot of responsibilities, such as building a family. Even bigger responsibility is raising children then we don't have much mind and energy and time to focus on building our career anymore. And finally, there is another important factor that is money. We don't have enough financial management experience when most of the time before we were supported by our parents. Investing is even more out of reach when we don't have much capital in our pocket. All of that can easily lead to the result that most cases will fall into the loop of spending all the salary every month. Even worse, we can get into debt. There is a good thing in the yin yang theory of the Chinese that as yin produces yang, yin is the foundation and root of all problems, yang is what manifests on the outside. If we build a house with three floors but the foundation can only withstand one floor, it will surely collapse. But if we focus on building a solid foundation that can withstand 10 floors, then adding a few more floors won't matter. But what's good about being single? If we are single, we have two big capitals that we have at this stage. The first is youth and the second is that we don't have too much to lose. If we lose everything, we won't affect anyone. We can completely start over. So this is the ideal stage for us to experiment and build our lives. The foundations we should build for ourselves are First is knowledge. We should try to learn a lot and equip ourselves with a lot of knowledge. Learn foreign languages. Learn more skills, such as communication or presentation skills or professional knowledge to support our work. Next is building a financial foundation, when our finances are stable or better yet. We have achieved financial freedom, then our lives and our families will be much more stable in terms of finance. 
And the last thing along with all the things I just said is that we try to experience life and experience the world to accumulate more life capital for ourselves. The world out there is very wide. There are so many things for us to experience. We don't have any reason to focus only on one thing, which is love and family, and then that one thing becomes a barrier that prevents us from doing other things. We are still too young to know what we want and in my opinion, the most reasonable way, when we don't know what we want, is not to bet our whole life on anything. If possible, don't bother with love and waste your time. Especially for guys, if you have all these factors, then at some point when you start building a family, your family will be much more stable. Some people argue that I say that, so do we have to wait until we are really good and have a lot of money to love or what? In some way for guys, I think it should be like that. In short, if you don't have anything in your hands yet, why don't you enjoy the freedom you have and then focus on building those things instead of taking on responsibilities that are not suitable and too much for yourself. It's like when we just finished studying instead of starting with simple jobs, we want to do big projects. There are some special cases that will do and succeed but most will not have enough skills and quit. But even if you don't agree with my suggestion, you still want to love, it's okay. But make sure you love moderately, because one important thing is that even though we love, we have to equip ourselves with a solid understanding of ourselves to avoid having children. Because once you have children, everything will turn upside down to a completely different page. The story will be more complicated 100 times, it will no longer be limited in this story of two people anymore. So in this stage of youth, avoid having children as much as possible. In general, according to my perspective, in this stage from 20 to 30 years old, let's enjoy our free life. Use it to experience as much as possible. Spend time and mind to build knowledge, career, and finance. If you happen to love, just love moderately, don't think about getting married and having children. Thank you for listening, see you again in the next content.